decision dominance, decision advantage, decision support. We have seen an explosion of usage of these terms within the DoD. The DoD defines decision advantage as a competitive condition characterized by the following outcomes. Battle space awareness and understanding. Adaptive force planning and application. Fast, precise, and resilient kill chains. Resilient sustainment support, efficient enterprise business operations. At Exia Labs, we have focused our entire attention on creating a competitive condition in decision-making quality and speed that helps the DoD achieve the outcomes above. The primary process to generate a decision in the DoD is the joint planning process, and the primary output of the joint planning process is an approved course of action. We believe that there is no technology that can generate a feasible course of action better or faster than a human today. To understand why we think this and how we believe we can solve it, you really need to define everything that goes into making a course of action, which is actually a complex web of interdependent decisions. Let's use a very simplified example one might use in the Army. An infantry company is at a halt, preparing to move through a valley to reach their objective on the other side. The commander assesses that they have the initiative if they move soon. But if they can, take, if they can make contact during the move, they need to be resupplied first. The commander is assessing terrain and routes, and environmental conditions, potential enemy actions, supply status, timing, and synchronization to the great plan, morale, and risk. This can be considered a single decision, but in that decision, we have numerous multifaceted problems that spawn across many warfighting functions. At the minimum, this decision would involve spatial awareness, understanding the elevation, obstacles, and mobility corridors in an area of operations, relative awareness, red and blue physical positions relative to each other, temporal awareness, when do things need to happen and in what order? Think decision support matrix or decision template. Constraint awareness, the understanding of what resources are available and can be deployed, both from a maneuver and sustainment perspective. Any AI system or model that claims to support decision dominance needs to first claim to support a single decision. Yet a single decision involves the ability to perceive, reason about, and project movements of forces and resources across terrain under time and resource constraints. No singular AI model or system can reason about all of these layers at the same time. Not right now, at least. However, it is possible, very possible. As a proof of concept, we believe we have cracked the first of the four problems I laid out, spatial awareness. By utilizing a combination of game and geospatial data structures, to represent both the terrain and the forces that are placed within, we produce a dynamic picture of an operation. We then build aggregate data structures on top of these and expose them as tools to agents to give them a true understanding of the space of an operation. There are a few research papers that have begun exploring spatial awareness and produced some benchmarks in this space. Things like map eval or map QA. But these are always map problems that are in the same realm, but do not cover the kinds of spatial awareness that are needed in a military context. So we here at Exia are picking up the slack. We're not only developing agents, but also developing DOD-focused spatial benchmarks so that we can track what it really means to understand space. We're making significant progress towards building a true agent that a warfighter can talk to and ask real concrete questions about an operation. If I move my focus here, what are the possible enemy counteractions? If we need to take this point, what are the routes one can take to get there? These are not the types of questions that can be answered today. And Exia's goal is to be able to answer them. The last thing to say here is that this is just a first step. Our goal is to get this agent into the hands of warfighters as soon as possible. Once we do that, we can improve the model. We can learn from the mistakes pointed out by users and continue the learning process for this model utilizing true reinforcement learning. With RL, we can scale the learnings even further, developing a series of AI models that can achieve true decision dominance.